takes forever to focus. Oh my gosh, she won't focus. <laughs> Why is it taking? Okay, hi guys. LOL my face when I realize how bad this intro is going. Do you like my fake hair? Very patriotic, yeah. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel, Jared and Avery. Usually Jared's here and he'll start the intro. I struggled starting the intro because I usually don't and I actually hate the intro, but Jared's not here right now. It's just me because the camera's at my house and because of Corona, we're separated. I just realized this totally makes it sound like we're broken up, but we're still together, so don't worry about that. We're trying to stay away from each other just to practice good social distancing. I thought it would be fun to make a little video just because I know everybody's stuck at home. And I'm going to do a little segment called Cooking with Avery. I don't know how it's gonna go, I'm not a great cook. So, yeah, I don't know if it's gonna turn out how it's like supposed to turn out or what's gonna happen, but it's probably gonna be really entertaining, so I would stick around. So for those of you that don't know, I am gluten and dairy free due to some stomach issues I have that are hereditary. They run in my family, thanks to my dad. Thanks dad. But today I'm gonna be making cooked um, chickpeas. You cook them with cinnamon and sugar and it's a really good healthy snack for those who have a sweet tooth like me but are trying not to eat a ton of crap while we're stuck in quarantine. So. Let's get started. So first, you gotta take some aluminum foil, tin foil, you gotta line your baking sheet. It's important, otherwise the chickpeas will like burn and they'll get all like nasty on your nice baking sheet and you don't want that kind of thing. Then you gotta open the chickpeas. The chickpeas smell like cat food, so I think you should just know that before you make them because it smells really bad. So now you have to take your chickpeas and you gotta strain them. I don't really know where a strainer is, so I'm gonna have to find it. One eternity later. So now we gotta s strain. Yes, I did balance the strainer on the dishes in the sink. I didn't want to do the dishes. I'm embarrassed about it. Please don't judge me. Ew, ew. They smell terrible. It smells literally like cat food. We have our chickpeas. Take, like, if they look like green, you just want to eat those. You want to get rid of those. So, what I do is you want to spread them out. I'm not going to make a ton just because I know I'm the only one that's going to be eating them in this house. So what you want to do is you want to make a single layer. A single layer of the chickpeas. And you're going to take a towel and you're going to dry them. I'm going to use a paper towel to dry them. Just because we don't have a towel on hand right now. But I'm sure you could use a hand towel. I obviously have no idea what I'm doing because I literally just watched myself as I'm editing this say, use a hand towel. Don't do that. No. That's a no. That's weird. Use a paper towel, okay? Ignore me. What you're going to want to do is there might be some extra little loose pieces of skin. You're going to want to get rid of those too. You don't have to, but if they come off when you're drying, you might as well just remove them. I'm going 
take one to two tablespoons of olive oil. And just gonna pour it on there. Now you're gonna have to take a half teaspoon Salt. We only have the salt, so I'm just gonna do a little. So now you gotta guess, because we don't have regular salt. Is that too much? Probably. Do I care? Kind of. Okay, so now we put the chickpeas into the oven. The oven's at 400 degrees, so it's gonna be really hot. But you're gonna cook them for 30 minutes. So, kind of a long time, but you're gonna have to wait because it gets better. So while I waited, I had a dance party by myself because I have no friends other than Jared, and I really miss Jared during the social distancing. And then I sat down and I realized that this was gonna take longer than I thought. So I looked down and I admired my gray Crocs. If you're not crocking, you ain't rocking, am I right? Then I had um, a chip and I realized that I'm a really messy eater and I dropped the chip. So then I got another chip since I dropped the other one. And I shared the chip with my dog, Asher, because he was giving me the sad puppy dog eyes and I just couldn't resist. And then I decided to go outside and I realized, wow, we have a lot of chickens. And then I decided I wanted to pet one of the chickens, you know, for the vlog, and it ran away from me, and then I was sad. So then I got out a hula hoop, and I decided to hula hoop, and I thought that I couldn't hula hoop, and then I realized that I could hula hoop, and I was pretty impressed with myself, not gonna lie here. So then I took a bow, because that was straight skill, am I right? And then I tried to square up to this chicken who wanted to fight me, and then I realized that the patriotic clip-on hair probably wasn't the move for the video today. And then I decided to go on my scooter, and I realized that would make Jared really sad, because he loves a scooter. And then I decided that I was going to take a drink of some pop while I waited and I still had a really long time to wait so I was pretty sad and then I realized my hair was absolutely crazy today oh and then this is me um you know just whipping out the camera all the time and me taking a bite of asparagus that my mom made and then during this I realized that I absolutely hated asparagus as a kid and I'm really not sure why because it's bomb now that you took the chickpeas out of the oven you're supposed to put three teaspoons of sugar and one tablespoon or teaspoon of sugar and then you gotta mix it with the spatula, but you gotta be careful not to rip the tin foil because I did that on accident. And then they go back in the oven for five to ten more minutes until they're like crispy, crunchy, or until you burn the house down. So this is me setting a five minute timer to be all aesthetic and such. And then this is me looking at the camera and realizing once again, I have the craziest hair on the planet sometimes, I swear. This is me looking like a sad puppy trying to wait for these chickpeas that I had been waiting so desperately for for like 40 minutes, I swear. And I just kept waiting and I kept waiting and I kept waiting and all of my other family members were eating dinner. And I didn't want dinner because I was so, so, so excited for these cinnamon sugar chickpeas that all I could think about was them. So I didn't want dinner because all I wanted was these chickpeas and then well I was joking about burning the house down but I actually burnt them and they don't taste very good so if you look in my eyes you can see the sheer sadness and disappointment that I burnt the chickpeas so it's kind of a fail if you follow the recipe right it's actually good because I've had it before but it didn't work out for me but I'm sure you'll be able to do it because you're way better than me, and I'm not a professional, and I'm not a very good cook, so. Jared and I put out a video earlier this week of us at Severs and Dells, so it's called Social Distancing at Severs and Dells, or Severs and Dells Social Distancing, something like that. So go give that a watch, like, subscribe, comment below. See you next time.